What's Gucci, my niggas? Now, I know this is gonna sound like a 70 year old boomer take, but I genuinely don't like TikTok, and I think it's setting our society back as a whole. I haven't scrolled on that app since January of this year, so that makes almost 12 months, and I can say I'm, I'm proud of myself. This is starting to sound like an AA meeting on hard drugs, so I'll say this. I'm not here to tell you to stop using TikTok. That's your own personal choice. I'm just here to list out the reasons as to why I think that app is bad. As to whatever you wanna do with it, it's, it's your life, man. If you wanna sniff coke, Right in front of me, hey, I, I'm not gonna stop you, bro. You can do whatever you want, you know? I might even join you. Now, my main reason for not liking that app is because it's good. A bit too good. In all honesty, it's perfect. And that's the problem. I know you've all been through this scenario. Let's say it's 12 a.m. and before you decide to go to bed, you choose to scroll on TikTok for a little bit, you know? Get a quick laugh before bed, ain't nothing wrong with that. You're scrolling, 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 a few minutes go by, you look up, and all of a sudden it's 5 a.m. You may think I'm exaggerating that, but I'm not. That has literally happened to me multiple times. When I'm using that app, it's as if time is being ripped away from me without me even knowing. Oh, now you're probably thinking, oh, that's an easy fix though. Just use the app in moderation. But that's like me telling you to use heroin in moderation. It's damn near impossible because it's addictive, highly addictive. Now you are probably think I'm exaggerating again. Comparing TikTok to drugs? Is this guy crazy? A little bit. But there are literally multiple studies that show that this fucking bird clock app is as addictive as hard drugs. Isn't that crazy? Them Chinese niggas actually created an app to ruin productivity across the world and it actually worked. <laughs> Now this part is gonna sound like I'm an escaped convict from an insane asylum, but hear me out, okay? The TikTok that they use in China is a completely different app than the TikTok that the rest of the world has access to. The one that's in China is highly moderated, highly filtered, filled with stuff that promote education, the government, and productivity. And the one that's left for the rest of the world is filled with more boobs and butt than a strip club. On the Chinese version of TikTok, all videos seen as degenerate by the Chinese government are actively removed. And yet at the same time, the algorithm promotes videos of hardworking everyday people sharing their life and work accomplishments. As you could expect, these videos are generally wholesome, upbeat, and positive. With there being a literal section on the Chinese TikTok called positive energy to promote the Communist Party. But in the West, TikTok promotes the exact opposite. On our version of TikTok, we're bombarded with endless and insipid videos of girls shaking their ass to music, where we become obedient, placid consumers slumped open in front of screens. Genuinely, on TikTok you will see one of three things. Super funny videos, unnecessary yet a highly entertaining drama, or an ungodly amount of ass and titties. And your occasional cute pet and gym videos, of course. Now you're all probably thinking, bro, it's your For You page. It was made for you because of you. So you have no one to blame but yourself. And you are 100% correct. But for my own sake, I'm gonna keep my fat ass away from that app because I got shit to do. I also forgot to mention that that app legitimately ruined my attention span. I didn't even notice it until I went back to watching YouTube videos. I was watching the same videos that I'd always watch, but all of a sudden it felt different. I felt like these videos were all of a sudden they were boring even though I loved those videos a few months ago. So I was like, what the f I'm watching a video and nothing exciting is being blasted in my face. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? I'm going back to TikTok. And then I realized TikTok is the reason why I'm not enjoying this shit. Cause on TikTok, everything is less than 15 fucking seconds, loud noises, music, ass in your fucking face all the time. I'm watching a YouTube video. I'm like, bro, this shit is lame as hell, boy. Hey, hey, where's the big booty bitches, my nigga? Fuck you mean? And then when I stopped using TikTok, I started liking the YouTube, like a regular videos again, because you shouldn't feel the need to be entertained 24 seven. You shouldn't feel the need to have sound blasted at you, visuals flashing in your face every 15 seconds to keep you entertained. Cause that's not how life is. You can't go through life being constantly engaged in something. That's not how it goes. You need you need to slow it down and just enjoy shit at a regular pace. Being constantly entertained is not good for you. Boredom is necessary. I'm not calling the YouTube videos boring, but you need 
to slow down. TikTok is just way too fast. But that's only one reason. The other reason I have is that that app is filled with so much over-sexualized content. Jesus Christ. There are so many people trying to post as much of their body as possible for the sake of a few likes. And that includes minors. There is so much softcore child porn on that app. It is insane. And the comment sections are filled with grown men. It's sickening, but they won't ever get caught because it's all anonymous. But you can talk about the way they type in the comments that it's all creepy pedophiles. No 17 year old is gonna comment and say, oh, I like your tight butt. Bro, you are 70. Where's your family? Anyways, I think I vented enough. That's all I have to say about that damn TikTok app. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know why in the comments. But if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go minus it goes to Twitter for the next five hours.